Hello, this is Bruce Bowles, technical editor with Workboat Magazine. I'm here in Columbus, Indiana at the headquarters for Cummins Incorporated and talking with Jeff Conrad, who is an account manager for Cummins. Uh, we've all been assembled here, a couple hundred of us, uh, over the last couple of days because Cummins has introduced uh, a project that they have codenamed Hedgehog, and it's all now been introduced to the world. So first of all, Jeff, what is Hedgehog? Hedgehog was the uh, project code name for a new engine called the QSK95, and the event of the last two days was to announce that engine to the world and, and show it off for the first time. And uh, as you said, we had an assembled group of customers and press and uh, suppliers from all over the world here, and uh, we're now officially calling it the QSK95. And where does it fit into the Cummins lineup of uh, power products? That's a good question. Uh, the QSK95 will be the largest and biggest diesel and gas engine that Cummins has ever produced. And it will take us in the 3,000 to 5,000 horsepower range, depending on the market and the application. For marine, it will be in the three to 4,000 horsepower range and ratings possibly going higher than that in the future. And the QSK95, that's a 16-cylinder engine? Correct. Right. It's a, it's a V16, and it's the most powerful 16-liter diesel in the world. 95-liter? Yes, and that's high-speed diesel right. as well. Right, okay. Yeah, high-speed engine. When will this engine be available? Uh, it depends on the market, but uh, the... The markets that are getting the engine first are the uh, uh, land-based markets, so power gen and the locomotive market. The marine versions of the product won't come until a year later, a uh, year and a half later, and that will be sometime, we'll start initial production uh, sometime in uh, 2015 right now. So the initial products will be built then and we'll put them through its paces and applications and make sure they're proven out before we go into full, uh, full sales. Well, that time frame then puts it into a Tier 4 area sure does. for emissions control. Tell yeah. me how that's going to be addressed. That's great. Uh, yeah, first off, Tier 4 was a, a, a clear design consideration on the front end of the product. And Cummins has a, a business uh, group within its uh, capability called uh, Emissions Solutions Business. Uh, the Emissions Solutions Business will provide uh, SCR technology to be incorporated with the engine design. So it's a completely integrated package, uh, both with controls uh, and systems to manage the SCR uh, and the uh, SCR event, and it will be packaged uh, by Cummins and sold by Cummins globally. So the SCR will be um, scrubbing out the NOx emissions, yes. and the particulate matter, as I understand it, then will be... It's uh, all done primarily in cylinder, mm -hmm. so the, because it's a new engine and because we had the luxury of uh, planning for it as well as our past experience, uh, we know that we can get most of the emissions technology uh, done in cylinder, or emissions reduction, excuse me, in cylinder, uh, leaving what's left to be accomplished by the SCR, and it's, it's a pretty efficient system. And a fairly compact system. I remember seeing um, a, a couple of pieces of equipment yesterday in, uh, on display showing uh, an SCR unit next to a Tier 2 muffler right. and it looked comparable. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, if you go back in what people were discussing around uh, uh, SCR system size uh, four or five years ago, it was intimidating, uh, yeah. especially as it related to uh, very uh, tight space on board a vessel or an engine exhaust fiddly or something else. And, and what's happened over the last three to four years is as the uh, technology has improved, as the packaging of these systems has improved, it's gotten comparably smaller. And so today it's, it's almost the same size as a traditional exhaust muffler and the placement of that in the vessel could vary. You know, some people may want to continue where their existing exhaust system is placed, uh, or other applications it may require it to be uh, in a different location depending on the, uh, the engine room arrangement, exhaust system arrangement. But there's some flexibility there, and uh, you know, Cummins is in a good position to uh, help customers figure out what's the best way to do it. 
But DSCR also will function as a muffler as well as a, a catalytic sure. uh, there, emissions control that's unit, correct. right? There is noise attenuation uh, as part of the uh, characteristics of an SCR uh, after treatment system. And, uh, you know, for the vast majority of customers, that level of noise attenuation will be more than adequate. Um, there, there may be, uh, you know, some unusual circumstances uh, may requiring some other uh, additional uh, silencing, but we haven't come across it yet. All right. Well, thanks for having us all out You're here welcome. for this introduction, and uh, good luck with the project. Oh, we look thanks. forward to seeing we it. We uh, a hobby, so <laughs> we got a new engine to take care of and get out in the market. That's so. exciting news for Cummins. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep, thanks.